So there's two things you can do to your hard drive to preserve your data. You can clone it or you can create a disk image. And there's a big difference between those two. And I'm about to break it down in this video. So why would you want to clone your hard drive versus backing up the data? Well, somebody would clone a hard drive if they don't want to reinstall the operating system and all the apps and everything else that you have on that drive. But you want to upgrade your drive. Now this can only be done in the same system because you have drivers to deal with. And the drivers are those little programs that control your video card and your sound card or any other device that's inside your computer. So all of that stuff will be preserved if you decide to clone your hard drive. Now when you create an image, or should I say a backup of that hard drive, the only thing you're gonna preserve is your data. So your music and your photos, or any other data that you need to back up and save for later. Now stuff that don't get back up are like programs, like if you have, for instance, Photoshop installed on your computer. That won't get back up. You would have to reinstall that. Windows have to be reinstalled. If you're on a Mac, you'd have to reinstall your Mac software. So none of that stuff get copied into the drive when you're doing the imaging. That only happens when you're doing the cloning. Now let me break down the difference between those two, the cloning and the imaging. So when you're doing this cloning, you're actually creating an exact copy, bit by bit replica of that disk on a second hard drive. And that will give you the opportunity to create an instant boot from the clone by just connecting the new drive. It requires the same disk space or more of the original drive. And only one clone can be stored on that disk. Now this is one key bullet point you have to remember that a disk clone cannot be updated with new data. So once you make that copy, it's time for you to swap out those hard drives. Because if you add anything to the old disk, that information will not transfer to the new disk unless you make a new clone. So as soon as you make that clone, it's time to swap out that drive before you start using the system again to do any kind of work. Now when you're creating a disk image, you are actually backing up all the contents, which is your data, off that R drive to a single compressed file. And then all the image, which is the data, needs to be restored back onto the new drive after you do an installation of the operating system and everything else. Now because you're actually backing up those files and they're being compressed, they're gonna have smaller space to take up on the hard drive. So you will get more hard drive space when you do the backup. And also because you're doing backup, you can store multiple image on that disk versus when you're doing cloning, you can only have one clone per disk. So basically you can create multiple backups with different dates and time, which is much better than the cloning because on the cloning, you can only create one copy. So those are the key points of doing the cloning versus the disk imaging, AKA backup. There's no wrong or right of which one you choose to do. Just realize that each one of them has their advantage and disadvantage. The cloning is best if you want to do an upgrade to the current hard drive that's in your system and you want to actually upgrade that drive to a bigger drive. Cloning is the fast way because you take everything that's on the original disk, put it on a bigger hard drive or SSD drive, put it in there and you up and running in no time. Now backup is necessary if you're going to create a new system or you're going to transfer your information to a brand new computer because the cloning only works, like I said, on the same system. Drivers, and this is very important, the stuff that controls your video card and your sound card and all of that. If you switch to a new system, then you'd have to reinstall those drivers. So the cloning is a disadvantage on that aspect. If you're doing the backup, then you don't have to worry about that because all you're doing is taking your data and moving it to the new system anyway. So I hope that was helpful in as far as explaining the cloning versus the imaging. Now me personally, I always go with the backup method because I like to have a clean slate. So if I'm upgrading my hard drive in my current system, I will go ahead and put a new disk, new operating system, new everything, reinstall the software, and then take my data and put it back on there. Because that to me is a clean slate. Get rid of all the clutter that the old operating system has gathered. And I usually have a better running system when I do that method. It takes a lot more work to do it that way, 
but to me it gives me a better performance out of my system because when you do the cloning whatever is on that old disk is going to get cloned over to the new disk all the malware all the spyware all the clutter all that stuff is just going to make a direct copy onto the new drive so that's why i always choose the backup method because i don't want to take all that clutter with me now if you're really interested in doing the cloning there's some software that i will recommend to you that will work Great. I got two for the Windows and one for the Mac. So the first software I want to talk about is made by Paragon Software and it's called Drive Copy Professional. And this is for Windows only. It does the migration of the software, operating system, data, cloning, backup, all that stuff. So check that one out. I'll leave the link in the description. The next software I want to talk about is made by Acronis and this is also for the Windows machine. And the name of this one is called Disdirect. And it does the same procedure of cloning your hard drive. So check that one out too. The link will be in the description on this one also. Okay, so for all your Mac users, there is one software that you can use to make a clone of your hard drive. And that software is made by Bomish Software. And it's called Carbon Copy Cloner. So I'm going to put a link to that one also in the description. So there you go. You got two options on your Windows one option on your Mac and there's other options out there but from my research I think these are the best ones on the market that will get the job done error free and it looks like all of them come with a free trial so you can download them onto whichever operating system you have and give it a shot and see if it works for you use a little test drive you know you can clone your drive that you have now and see if that's the route you want to go instead of doing the backup and starting all over again. Now, like I said earlier, I like to do the clean slate method. So therefore I back up my data and transfer it to my new hard drive or a new system. And then I put the data back onto the new system. Now, if you decide to do the backup method like I do, here's a service that I can recommend. And I've been to a lot of online cloud backup services and this is the best one I've found so far. And that service is called Backblaze. I've been using it for years. This service is very low cost. It's only $6 a month. Now the cool thing about Backblaze services, not only does it back up your internal drive, but it also back up your external drives. And it's unlimited backup. So I have my main computer with the hard drive installed that's being backed up. And I got about six external hard drive that's also being backed up. And when it's time for you to get your data back from Backblaze, you can either re-download the data or you can have them ship you an external hard drive at a cost of course and that's optional so if you want to just download your stuff you can download it but if you need it faster and you don't want to wait for all that download you can just have them ship a hard drive to you so the link to that service is going to be in the description to so just go ahead and check it out also even if you're doing cloning you might want to consider using this service because it's very important that you back up your data because once you lose that stuff there's no way to recover it. So keep that in consideration. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching it. What are you doing the cloning? Are you doing the imaging? Whichever way you wanna go, all of them will work. Just choose whichever one is best for you. And check out the link in the description to all those things that I mentioned. Try them all out, see what's best for you. Thanks for taking the time for watching this video. I look forward to see you next time. Have a good one.